Hey there, welcome to, well, welcome to the past. Today we are going to, as the title says, install SWG EMU. So Star Wars Galaxies Emulator Edition. So we are going to go here and for the simplicity of things, I have actually copied my disks into folders. This would be disk one, disk two, and disk three. Pretty much we're only gonna use disk one. So not a big deal. Now, if you're installing this yourself, you can use anything, I believe, except the demo and one other edition, which slips my mind which one it is. But if you have the files from your original disks or have obtained them through another means, which I'm not going to go into because I do not condone support or otherwise encourage that, but I'm certainly not going to be one to dissuade it or stop you from doing whatever decisions you want to do. Either way, I have my original discs, I open it up, and this is basically what's on the disc. So we're going to run the setup, I'm going to, uh, crap, hold on, I will change this to display 2, so you can see. And now we are looking at the installer, Star Wars Galaxy Setup. So antivirus has been known to cause problems during installation, it's not really an issue. It's just a disclaimer that they put in there from time to time to try to make you realize that you bought a product and if the antivirus does something it probably isn't a problem. So we're going to click next. Star Shield Wizard is going to guide us through it. We're going to click next. We have to agree to the terms or we can't go forward. Click next. I have to change where I install things. So we're gonna put it on the D drive under D program files x86 Star Wars Galaxies, which means I have changed the installation path slightly from where it usually goes. Should make no difference whatsoever, but my C drive is just a boot drive and nothing ever gets installed to it. That way I can wipe it out if I have to, which I did basically for, well, my yearly cleanup. So this was a pretty clean install. So if I experience any problems, it's because of issues you would have more than likely. Because there's nothing on here. It's just a patched version of Windows 10 with maybe three other games on it and a bunch of other little applications that really aren't that big of a deal. But, I'm going to let this run. This will actually install. And we should have no problems. But like I said, the only thing it really cares about is disk 1. If I recall, I haven't installed this in quite some time, so I thought I'd do it again for the sake of the people who have been asking me. And there is a reason for this. Uh, I never thought I'd be playing this game again because I pretty much played it out. Uh, I played it a lot. I played a whole lot. And it was fun to move on to other things. But someone brought up some interesting things that maybe I should revisit some of the emulators that I visited in the past. And someone asked me a question that I actually didn't have the answer to. So time to install it again and get an answer to that question for that person. So let us complete the install. So install complete. We have a Star Wars Galaxies icon on our folder. This icon does us no good. If you run this icon, it will get you nowhere. Now, since my program is being difficult, I will move my disks and my setup over to here. This setup.exe you download from swgemu.com. Right here, download swgemu launchpad for Windows. And that's what we're going to run next. So now that we've run the initial installation, we have to run the launch pad fixer for the emulator. And this will be quick and easy. It shouldn't be a problem. And this is uh, where I think some people come into having issues. 
So we're going to go all the way through the process because I think the last time I skipped configuring the launch pad and I think that confused a lot of people. But today we're going to configure the launch pad and we're going to do it all the way through. And if everything goes okay, tomorrow you'll see why I reinstalled this today. But I still have some work to do, so it may not actually be until Saturday or Sunday. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep, but things are looking good so far. But I did need to install this application in order to install the next application that I'm installing. So anyway, Launchpad Installer. Next. Accept the terms so we can move on change where it's installed but you do not have to do this this is just something that i do and it's not responding i have a drive that's not formatted correctly and it's causing issues with my system cancel it try one more time Mostly because I lost folders. But I think it's just because they weren't there. I was kind of hoping to give me the whole path. But it doesn't look like it's going to. And I can't copy that, so I'm going to have to type it in. No, yep, I did just lose them. All right, so we're going to change this to D, Program Files x86. SWGEMU, SWGEMU, SWGEMU Launchpad. Okay, next. Typical D, 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 done. And it should start up here in a minute. Now, like I said, I have a project that I'm working on. I needed the actual client installed so that I can work on the next part of the project because I needed pieces of it to do something. That will become more apparent once I reach the next stage, which I'm hoping is tomorrow or the next day, but should be sometime this weekend. I've got time over the holiday weekend coming up where I should be able to spend a good amount of time exploring what I want to check out. Answering that question. That's what I want to do. And also visit revisiting a lot of the emulators that I have installed in the past or have looked into in the past. So we're going to launch the program. It says, please set the SWGEMU folder in settings options or install using settings install from the SWG option. So now this is our launcher, not this. The SWGEMU launchpad is our launcher. So all of this should be correct. And we need to go into game set is it set, settings options. Okay. And the first thing we need to do is we could set it for multi-threaded full scan, hide in tray after game starts, and then we have to browse for our SWG EMU folder. So we're going to go D program files SWG EMU. Uh, no, actually, Star Wars Galaxies. Select folder. Okay. So, basic checks failed. Please run full scan to try and fix the issues. This is not a problem. This is the first run, so this is expected. So, then we're going to run a full scan. And it said to restore all my files to their original state, removing any mods you might have. Do you want to continue? Heck yes, I do. Do you want to restore the config files too? Sure, why not? Now, this is going to go through the process of downloading some specific things particular to Star Wars Galaxies emulator. And I put them in the main folder because I like that folder to be portable. And I can just drag it around wherever I go. I actually used to have the launcher in that folder, but I don't want to confuse you. Just do it this way. It'll work fine. You can learn about how to make it portable later if you choose to. I've installed this program a ton of times and a ton of VMs, lots of different versions. I've never really had any issues. I'm running Windows 10 64-bit 
latest version 1903 uh, which is the May March of 2019 build I think so if that gives you any information I have an AMD processor it's a Ryzen 7 and it has I don't remember how much my system has for RAM. Anyway, uh, SWG MU AIM settings application will now launch. Please set your resolutions in the graphics tab. Okay. Here is our graphics. Here's our tab. It is very, very incorrect. Uh, but, you know, because if you've got a 1070 Ti with 4 gig of RAM, you got a problem. And if your system has 2 gig of physical RAM, you've got an issue anyway now we go through the steps if you've made it this far you shouldn't have any issues going forward you can change anything in here you want to change first thing i want to change is i want more resolution so i set it for 1920 by 1080 60 hertz windowed mode is off borderless window this is a good option to set because if you need to look something up for whatever reason, you can uh, set a windowed mode. It is going to decrease your resolution. Uh, we don't. I don't disable any of these. The only thing I do is disable sound, game, skip intro sequence, and disable LOD those are the two things I definitely set because I hate the intros that they put out there I've seen it a billion times I don't need to see it again it's cool the first time so if you don't have never seen it before definitely watch it however it really doesn't make, do anything for me anymore okay so we can turn these off if you're having some problems with loading the game this is debugging and troubleshooting options leave those alone unless you're having issues and you know what you're doing debug these should be never said no, no, and no, because Sony SOE does not care about your 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 problems anymore. And that's who it will send it to. So just leave those alone because they're blocked and they don't send anymore. Alright. I cannot start the game in this case because I actually have to run it one time to shut the sound off before I can start the game. But I can assure you that it will work, and it will work just fine. If you have any questions or problems put them down in the description below but you should be able to go through this exactly the same as i did without any issues this is a pretty quick video coming in at just under 12 well 13 minutes already i could have made it quicker but i wanted to be thorough and complete and give you as much information as possible that you could possibly need uh, one question I will not answer is I will not tell you where to get the discs because if you ask me I will have to direct you to Amazon because that is the legitimate legal way you can get them Amazon eBay someplace like that I own a copy of the discs from when I played when the game came out so I have my copy no you cannot have a copy of my discs sorry that is not something I can condone especially in a public forum so I will do it I have found that there are people possibly willing to share things of that nature on the reddit forums if that's your deal go over there talk to it them about it so uh, check out the swg emu subreddit on reddit if you need to find out where you can purchase or obtain discs they'll get you set i however cannot do that because of how this is being presented anyway I hope this helps you. I hope this helps somebody. Nothing has changed from my previous video. It's completely the same. If you do have any issues, please re-watch the video and make sure that you follow all the steps. This is the only disc you need is disc one. Disc two and disc three just have assets in them. Uh, I seem to recall it used to ask for these discs. Uh, it also has DirectX 9 in it, which you probably already have 11 so you don't need it and disk 2 has these three files um it doesn't really ask for it anymore so i don't think they're important but if you can get all three get all three and it was a three cd set so there you go it's about as much detail and information as i can tell you that i think you'd possibly need to install this game so i'm going to go ahead and end this here and get back to what i was doing to set up the next project that i'm working on uh but in 
preparation for what I would plan to do in the next couple of weeks. This was an important step for me, and I figured I would share that important step with you because the last time I posted a video about this, a lot of people had issues, and I wanted to go through and make sure I covered all the steps as thoroughly and completely as possible because I think maybe last time I didn't quite go through it as well as I could have. Anyway, thanks for watching. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. I know there's going to be a bunch of people who say I did this too quick, a bunch of people who say I did this too slow, a bunch of people who say I didn't show how long it took to download stuff, but I did. And I know a bunch of people are going to say that I did show how long it took to download stuff and I shouldn't have. So that's okay. Definitely like to hear your opinions, especially when they're voiced in a sane manner. Uh, I will catch you guys later. Uh, definitely bookmark the channel if you're looking for Star Wars EMU stuff because we've got some interesting things planned on the horizon and I'm definitely going to go do the rounds on all the emulators again give my thoughts on them and play on them I've got kind of a routine that I go through on each one that I go to and check it out and see what state it's in so that would definitely be something you want to do if you're interested in this and looking for another server other than Basilisk to go play on uh, for whatever reason either different rule set different whatever and I'll try to cover some of those differences later and I also have my own special project that I'm doing with this. So look forward to that. See you guys then. Thanks for watching.